My mom taught me this homemade recipe and now I'm going to show it to you guys. So let's get started. So before we get started, uh, I'm going to be telling you the ingredients. So we need some ice, vanilla, liquid caramel, uh, and then the caramel drizzle and whipped cream, and then any kind of caramel iced coffee. And the caramel drizzle and the whipped cream are optional, but they make the frappuccino more pleasing and it even makes it more yummy. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is add your iced caramel coffee into a cup. You will need one cup of iced caramel iced coffee and just put it in the blender. So the next thing we're going to do is take the 1 fourth cup and put a bit of the liquid caramel and a bit of the liquid vanilla. You won't see me put the liquid vanilla in because I forgot to so I d did it without recording the video but yes you do have to put ha half of the cup will be filled with caramel, liquid caramel and half of the cup should be filled with liquid vanilla. Now the next thing we're going to do is put the caramel drizzle around the cup. This makes the caramel, uh, the caramel frapp it makes the frappuccino more caramelly and it tastes way better with it in my opinion. But you don't have to add it. So now the next step is to blend all the items together. So I blend it about for like 30 seconds and check to see if the ice is fully crushed. It, if it's not crushed, then you might have to do it for a bit longer because then the ice will come in your mouth. And this is how it should look. And of course, I am very bad at pouring stuff in and it all fell out. So that was my mistake and I dropped it again, which was really funny but annoying as well. Now the last thing we're gonna do is add the whipped cream and on top of that we're gonna add the caramel drizzle. 